Hey, this is Chuck at RhythmMan.com, and it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, so I want to get back and I'm going to kind of start out with a bang and just run through a bunch of arch tops that you can kind of get a sound comparison out of. These are all acoustic arch tops, all made from the 30s into the 50s, and um, all different sizes, all different character. They all have the same kind of strings on them, and the setup is going to be exactly the same as we run through them. I'm just going to be switching guitars, and so. Hopefully with all the neck differences and everything, I can make it come together pretty well. We're going to start out with this um, 1935 L5, which um, and I'll label these as we go through them because I'm not going to introduce each one of them as we do it. I'll just run through them so it'll be easier to hopefully get a comparison of the way they sound. But this is um, 1935 is what serial number dates to, which places it as one of the last of the... 16 inch L5s because they were transitioning during that period, of course, to the 17 inch advanced with the X bracing. So, this is where we're going to start, and I'm just going to run through the same chord progression on each one and we'll compare. should all be labeled through the video, but just to make a quick rundown, we'll start out with a 1935 Gibson L5, followed by a 1953 Gibson L7C, which I think has a, an amazing big full voice, um, especially for a cutaway, which often it seems like takes a little something away. Followed that with a 1948 Gibson Super 400, then a 1946 Epiphone Emperor, and then the one behind me, 1933 Gibson L7, and then this 1952 Levine Deluxe, and um, which also has a little cutaway. Anyway, I think 
that probably can give you a pretty good idea of how the sounds of these guitars compare acoustically. And let me know what you think. Thanks.